Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off by using the Kat Von D Full Coverage Foundation on my lid just to have a clean canvas and so my eyeshadow colors stand out more. I prefer to use this as a primer or base because the consistency is very thick and it helps your eyeshadow last a lot longer. I'm going to be using the palette Bling Boss from the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection and I'm using the shade Hush Hush first as a transition shade. I'm using a fluffy brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection labeled JH32 and I'm also buffing this shade out onto my crease and my V area. I only grabbed a small amount of this shade and I'm going to slowly start to build up the intensity as I go. I'm also not applying too much pressure so that the eyeshadow goes on smoothly since I didn't set my foundation with any powder. For my second shade, I'm going in with the shade Sparks and I'm using a smaller fluffy brush from the same collection labeled JH33. I'm blending the shade onto my crease and V area as well. I'm being careful with this shade since it's very intense. So I'm going to be grabbing small amounts and building up the intensity as I go. Also, don't drag your brush all the way into your inner corner of your eyelid. We're only going to be keeping this on the center and on our outer V area. Now I'm going back in with the brush JH32 and without grabbing any product whatsoever, just with whatever is left over, I'm going to blend these two colors together just so that it can give us a smokier effect. Now I'm going in with the shade Rockstar which is a much darker eyeshadow color and I'm using a pencil brush from Jessup Beauty number 219. This is a smaller brush which helps us get very very deep into our crease. So I'm going to be applying this on my crease and outer V area. This is going to make the transition look smoky and smooth. It's what I call my in between shade. That's going to help the light purple on top blend in with the darker color I'm about to apply on the bottom. After I built up the color, I'm going back in with the brush JH33 to blend all the shades together just to make sure that there's no fallout and so that this look continues to look smoky. The next color I'm using is called Mystic and this is probably the darkest shade I'm going to be applying. I'm using the brush JH40 from that same collection and I'm going to be blending this onto my crease and V area. This is one of my favorite brushes. It really allows me to go into all of those small areas where it has to be very precise and very deep and dark. This helps me really get in there onto my crease. Since this color is very dark and comes on a little bit patchy, I'm going to apply small amounts and blend it multiple times until I get the whole area covered. I kind of hate that about these shades. These dark shades are usually like that. Um, and I'm going to blend it out with a Jessup Beauty brush without any product. It's the previous brush that I just used. And I'm just lightly going to be blending this side to side. Now to cut my crease, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Full Coverage Foundation again. And I'm going to be using a concealer brush from Mikasa Beauty uh, number E220. This is my favorite concealer brush, you guys, to cut my crease and to clean my eyebrows. It's not like too big or too thin, so I think it's perfect. Anyways, I'm going to be focusing on applying the foundation mainly on the inner part of my lid. That's where I'm going to be placing a shimmery shade and I want it to stand out more. Pay attention to how I'm moving my brush as I start making my way towards my outer lid area. I tap the brush in much lighter motions and when we get to that area with the eyeshadows, you'll see why I'm doing this and why I like to do it this way. So if you're new to doing cut creases, this is actually going to help. Now I'm going to use the shade Ballsy with the brush JH41 from the same collection. And I'm not going to wet my brush with any type of finishing spray or setting spray because it isn't really needed. This shade is very, very pigmented and buttery, so it applies beautifully. I'm only placing this shade onto my inner and middle part of my lid. You'll see why in just a second. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Pizzas with a flat brush. This is from Sephora and it's labeled Pro Small Shadow number 15. And I'm going to be tapping this shade lightly onto the middle lid area so it blends with the shade Ballsy. 
By the way, you guys, if you want to know what brushes I'm using, they are down below in the description. I wrote which ones are from the Jaclyn Hill collection by Morphe. And I also wrote the one from Sephora and the one from Jessup, I believe. So yeah, you guys, make sure you guys check it out if you're interested in purchasing these brushes. Next, I'm using the shade Rockstar with the smaller flat brush from the collection by Jaclyn Hill. It's called JH42. And I'm going to be applying this on the outer lid area. And I'm going to be connecting it to the shade Pizzas. So there is no trace of the foundation that I used under it. This is going to help the shades transition from light to dark. And also, you guys, if you don't understand anything that I'm saying or... Any, any specific step, just let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and I will do my best to answer all of you guys' questions. Once this look is complete, you guys are going to see how good it looks when you apply the eyeliner and the lashes. Right now it seems kind of messy and, and weird, <laughs> but it'll get better, I promise. Now I'm going to be going back in with the shade Mystic using the brush JH40 again and I'm applying the shade onto my V area connecting it to the shade Rockstar so that there's no trace of the foundation I used under. And you guys can actually see now how these shades are actually transitioning really good from light to dark. Also, I know these steps are a little complicated, but it gets easier. It just takes a lot of practice. Okay, back to the tutorial. With the same brush using no product, I'm lightly going to be going into my crease and moving side to side so that it looks a lot sharper. And now I'm using the brush JH33. It's my fluffy brush with no product and I'm just gonna be blending out those shades. Next, I'm gonna be using the concealer from Believe Beauty. I'm sorry, it's a little bit messy. Anyways, uh, this trick is gonna help the outer area of my eyeshadow look sharper without having to use tape. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to do this. So using the same little stick that the concealer has, I'm going to be carefully dragging this upwards to give it a extra sharp cat eye effect. And I'm going to be using my beauty sponge. This is from InStylish. If you guys are interested, I have it linked down below. And I'm going to smoothen up my concealer so that it blends with my foundation and there is no trace of that extra eyeshadow on the sides. Now I'm going in with my favorite mascara. This is from Too Faced. It's called Better Than Sex. Those of you that are subscribed know that this is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. And I'm only applying a couple of coats because I'm going to be applying some false lashes in a bit. But first I'm going to be going in with my liner from Italia Deluxe. And I'm only going to be applying this on my lash line. And I'm not going to be creating a wing for this look. But I am going to be going over this with the Italia Deluxe Liquid Eyeliner. And like I said, no wing. I'm just going to be applying this so that my lashes can sit on it. I'm only doing this so that the lash line isn't really obvious that it's there. And because these are very, very dramatic eyelashes, I don't want them to look too obvious and too fake. So these are actually from KJ Lashes. If you guys are interested, you guys can use the discount code emily15 and i believe she sends something for free with the purchase of these eyelashes and they're only seven dollars you guys they're very very affordable this is what they look like these are in the style dream angel so yeah guys down in the details below you guys can see the um, website for them and if you're interested in knowing the glue that i'm using is called duo glue and I like this glue because it dries out really fast and it's clear and I have never had any issues with it. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Sparks and I'm going to be using the Sephora brush number 15. I'm going to be smoking this out onto my lower lash line. And after this we're going to be going in with the shade. Next I'm using the shade Rockstar and I'm using the brush JH42 from the Jaclyn Hill collection. And this is a darker shade of purple. I'm just going to be blending this out as tightly as possible onto my lash line. Next, I'm going in with my pencil brush from Jessup Beauty number 219. And with no product, I'm just going to be blending this out so that it looks smoky on our lower lash line as well. 
Now I'm going in with my highlighter from MAC Cosmetics. This is called Hyper Real Glow, I believe. And I'm using my setting spray from Urban Decay, the all-nighter one. And I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of my eyes so that it gives it an extra pop. Now I'm going back in with the pencil eyeliner and it's the same one I used earlier from Italia Deluxe and it's very affordable like I said. And I'm just going to be applying this on my waterline carefully. Now I'm applying my mascara on my lower lash line. I accidentally almost forgot to do this. <laughs> but like I said before, it's a very important to do this no matter how short they are. Now for my lipstick, I'm using my favorite lipstick from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and this is the number 4 on there. And oh my god, you guys, I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it for weeks with any makeup that I put on. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, and for my final step, I'm just going to pop on some hoops and we are done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified every time that I post a new video. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.